Salute omnes, this is I'm Amelia, also known as the Martian Geek. And we're up to Blizzard Wolfing stage. Yes, it's red, but that matters not, because, like I said, every stage after Infinity Maginians that I'm doing will have a nightmare effect. Blizzard Wolfing stage is my personal least favorite of the eight. the ice stage of the game. It is in the North Pole after all. This is the North Pole area. How is the situation over there? Well, Blizzard... It looks bad. It seems Blizzard Wolfing is preying upon Santa's reindeer. Everything's frozen and slippery. Gee, you don't say! Frozen and slippery in the North Pole? A high jump part will help. I gotta go. And I don't have a high jump part. It's hard to do with the slippery surfaces. Well, the slippery surfaces are hard. Utilize the evacuation spot wisely as you go through the area. Avalanche! Wait until it passes. The uh, green walls are the good guys. They're the rest of the uh, rep voids you want to rescue. The purple walls are the bad guys. There. Well, judging by the fact that they're shooting stuff at you, you just probably figure that out. Whoa, if I hadn't been invincible there, that would have been very nasty. I'm not sure exactly how you're supposed to avoid that as well. If you have enough health, you can just, like, dash jump through this area and just let the thing hit you. The mind is corrupt and then there are many holes everywhere. We're about to slip and fall, jump directly above. If you turn back, you'll slip. You better stop by jumping. Mind you, you cannot wall jump up the sides of these platforms. And if you try, you're likely to land right. Well, if you try, it's because he's already fallen down the hole, and by then it's too late. Yes, yeah, case in point, that's a bottomless pit down there, in case you had any doubt. Eat Alia's advice. If you're slipping, jump to stop. Well, well, we're halfway through the stage. The most annoying part is gone. Gonna overlook. And we have fireballs now. Fireballs in an ice stage? That's maybe equal zero? Equals absolute zero? Actually, the fireballs are the nightmare effect. That is, and they are, as you can imagine, Blaze Heat Nix's nightmare effect. Unfortunately, it only happens in the second half of the stage. Collect far parts to complete the armor. Now I'll install a foot program of the shadow armor. Press the jump button while holding the up button to jump high and stick to the ceiling. After sticking, you can dash on the ceiling. This is tricky armor. Handle it well. Oh well, yeah. The first four stages I did in this LP have parts for the blade armor, and the other four have the parts for the shadow armor. And this area you can't get into if you don't have blade Nightmare effect active because there's a wall up there and there's a wall over here, and the fireballs break open the wall so you can get in. How's that for timing? There's the secondary area portal, but I'm not going in there just yet. There's not much I could do in there at this point. And more avalanches, this time with fireballs in the way. And in case you haven't noticed, yes, the fireballs hurt you. Whoa, what did I just do there? I like, slipped up. Oh yeah, now we have spikes on the walls too. Fortunately, no avalanches here. Okay, yes, they do slippery! Oh, that's, that's void. Although we can't see the nightmare of ice from the hunter base, I wonder if there's a way I can take it back. Wait a minute, if you can't see the ice, Technically, you can cheat here by 
just air dashing up like that. Oops. I didn't, I didn't want to cheat by air dashing like that, but anyway. The way this part works is... You have these falling ice blocks, some of which have bad guys on top of them. And you're supposed to use the ice block to get to the top of the area. And yes, the ice does crush the walls if it happens to land on Almost there. Now we have a different kind of ice puzzle, ice block puzzle. This time, there are multiple ice blocks. Ow. They solidify like, like that, and if you get caught in it, you die. Yeah. Nice of me to demonstrate that. If that was totally on purpose. It's nice to have the blade armor here, because you can air dash up through the gaps instead of having to time it just right. Oh yeah, and if they just fall on your head like that, they don't kill you, but they take a heck of a lot of damage, so you'd be best advised not to let that happen either. And as luck would have it, the Reploids in this area are kind of annoying to get, because they're all tucked away in those little crevices there. My suggestion is, if you have the blade armor, just Air dash, or mock dash, it's an air dash. Straight up. Super Reploids. Yeah, see that thing took like a quarter of my health off. You don't have the blade armor, you have to time it just right. So that you don't get caught in the ice. Like that. But there's the boss door. Huh. Good riddance. I got a strong signal, this must be investig investigator. Blizzard Wolfing. Set up your weapons in case you need to fight. Actually, I... Uh, what's the thing about Wolfing? Mm, nothing? Uh, nothing suspicious here. What? Glowing red eye. Are you the Nightmare Investigator Blizzard Wolf thing? Yes, I came back for this important mission. An error, an error cost me my men and problems for gate. To add to that disgrace, Reploid researchers trapped me and... Never mind, what's done is done. This is my mission. I'm sorry, but I will delete you, Maverick Hunter. Owls. Now it's best to keep your distance from this guy. Which means no blade armor spamming. But And then he does the ice circles. This attack, this and uh, that, where he does uh, make the ice circles on the ground, that's hard to avoid. Bye bye, boys and girls. The ice, the snow, such weather cursed this day. Yet Blizzard Wolfing overcame them all. No force of nature could blow him away. But one small fight with X has seen him fall. Clear time, so and so and so forth. You got the ice burst. Fires ice blocks you can step on. The ice burst in my opinion, rigs. Oh yeah, and you got the hydroga. Press jump button while holding up. I'd say the ice burst ranks number six as far as weapon usefulness in Mega Man X6 goes. Like, okay, everybody except one looks like 
Shadow Eraser image of Weapon Guard Life Up, and the Shadow Link Heart. Blizzard Wolfing. An ex leader investigator of the North Pole area, one day his team members were attacked by Mavericks. While Wolfing was able to defeat the Mavericks, his team members were annihilated. Researchers who opposed the ancient scheme to dispose of Wolfing took advantage of the incident, and it looked like an accident. Wolfing was thrown into the cold sea. I did it! But I was deceived into doing it! Oh. I hate Blizzard Wolfing stage. I mean, at least the other stages that people might find annoying, like Lacey Nixes and Metal Shark Players, I mean, they have some parts that are fairly easy. But Blizzard Wolfings is, like, annoying from beginning to end. There's never any let up in the attacks. It's either avalanches or ice blocks or bottomless pits or spikes. Oh yeah, and his nightmare effect, uniquely, affects only one stage. Metal Shark Players. But we're not going there next anyway. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.